Aloha, y'all. Welcome to my channel, The Socially Awkward Chef. Today, we are going to make rasta pasta, which is creamy and spicy and cheesy and so good. So let's get started. I have about four boneless, skinless chicken thighs that I cut up into about half an inch pieces. If you aren't big on chicken thighs, you can totally substitute and use chicken breasts. But this is what we had on sale, so that's what I got. Next up, we are going to get some jerk seasoning. You can use your favorite brand. This just happens to be mine. And we are going to start off our rasta pasta by marinating our cut up chicken. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon and a half of the jerk seasoning and then I'm just going to mix it up really well and then let that marinate for about 45 minutes because you really do want to give it a chance to get those flavors in there so it's going to add some nice heat to it. Now if you don't care for things that are too spicy, no worries. Just go ahead and use a little bit less. And of course, if you like it more spicy, go for it and use more. Okay, this looks pretty well incorporated. I wanna make sure that everybody's got some of that beautiful jerk seasoning on there. So I'm just gonna put some plastic wrap on this and put this in the fridge for about 45 minutes and then I'll see you in a little bit. All right, it has been 45 minutes, so I've taken my chicken out of the fridge and I've uncovered it, so we're just going to let it hang out to the side. In the meantime, you can see I've got some veggies already cut up and ready to go. So the ingredients that you'll need are one bunch of green onions, and I just went ahead and cut them in about one and a half inch pieces. I've got one medium onion and I just slice that about a quarter of an inch. I have two bell peppers here, yellow bell pepper as well as red. I've got one garlic clove that I went ahead and minced up and there is one and a half cups of milk and I'm going to add to that a one packet of Parma Rosa sauce for the sauce packet. And while I'm doing that, go ahead and get your pasta started so get your water boiling follow your package directions to get it al dente which means to the tooth because you don't want it so overcooked and i am going to get started by mixing this in to my milk and then from here we're going to start to brown our chicken Okay, our pan is nice and hot, so I'm just going to add a little bit of oil. And you can use whatever oil you prefer, as, um, as long as it's neutral in flavor. Now we're going to add in our chicken. And we don't want to overcrowd the pan, so we're going to do it in batches. I'm going to flip these over. And what I'm looking for is just to get them, get, or get some color on them. We aren't going to cook them all the way because we're gonna add them back to the pan once we're done cooking our veggies. And I would say about a minute-ish per side. All right, these look pretty good, so I'm gonna just take them off. 
I think I did not mention the temperature of my frying pan, which is medium high. And I am using canola oil. These guys are off. I'm going to let the pan heat up a little bit and then I'm going to add in my next batch. Take these guys off. And to our hot pan, I'm going to add in my onions. I'm going to add in a good pinch of salt and that way it's going to help these onions sweat down a little bit because we want to get them soft and a little bit caramelized so we kind of get a little bit of that sweetness out of the onions so they're not so sharp. And if you find on your stove that your onions are browning a little bit too fast, go ahead and just lower your heat to a little bit closer to medium. Looks like my water is boiling, so I'm going to add some salt to it. And I would say I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of salt to my water. And then I, to that, I'm gonna add in my penne. So we're gonna do a whole box, which is one pound. And if you're just cooking for smaller group of people in your household, you can totally just use half a box, that's fine. And just cook up the pasta for whenever you need it. But this is also fabulous because this makes most excellent leftovers. All right, we're gonna let these hang out and cook until they're al dente. Meanwhile, I'm gonna check on these onions. They are looking good. See how they're sweating down, they're getting softer. That means the sugars are developing, which is, that's exactly what we want. These are looking pretty good. So I'm gonna add them to my bowl with the chicken. Oops. Now I'm going to add a little bit more oil. And now I'm going to add in my bell peppers. My peppers are about at their halfway point, so I'm going to go ahead and add in my cut green onions as well as the garlic. Give this a nice zhuzh.
All right, so from here, I'm going to add in the onion and chicken. I'm going to lower my heat to medium. And get that mixed in really well. And then I'm going to add in the milk and Parma Rosa sauce packet. Give it another stir. In she goes. It's going to give this a gentle mix. And let all the flavors hang out. And we're going to continue to cook this over medium heat about five to six minutes. And about halfway point of that, we're going to add in some grated Parmesan cheese. We are at the halfway point, so I'm just going to go ahead and add in a half a cup of grated Parmesan. And I'm going to give this another good stir. I'm also going to pop the heat down to medium low. And we're just going to cook this through until the parm is nice and melty. And I also want to give this a taste because at this point you can go ahead and adjust the spice level. So if you want it a little bit more spicy, you can go ahead and add in some more of that jerk seasoning marinade. So let's see where we're at. I'm liking the heat level on that, so I'm just going to let it be. Now my pasta is ready to be drained, so I'm going to turn off the heat from this base here, drain my pasta, and I'll see you in a second. I've got my drained pasta. I topped it with our Rasta pasta fixins. So now I'm just going to give this a good stir. Make sure that everything is coated. ready to dish up. And here you go. Our Rasta pasta is ready to eat. And I don't know about you, but I am hungry. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Until we eat again, y'all. Aloha.